everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis, and welcome back to LSPDFR. We are back with San Andreas Highway Patrol, and today we're taking out the Declassy Merit. Uh, this is the Slick Top version, there are two in this pack. I'll go ahead and show you guys the lights, because I know you'll be interested. So we got Steady Burns on front, very California-esque, and uh, the light bar on the back, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to be patrolling a pretty much speed enforcement patrol on Route 15 here. People love to speed through here, so I figured why not, let's do it. And uh, we might actually take a call out. I don't know, I haven't decided. Now, I know you guys have been requesting it for a while that when I'm at, say, HP, I go ahead and do that. So uh, I'll make the decision down the road and we'll see what happens. Also, if you guys can tell, there's light snow coming down now. Um, it's becoming winter time and uh, yeah that was just a freeze so hopefully adding adverse weather to this does not create issues because uh, it was running well for a while there so that that would suck for sure but we're gonna go ahead and uh, get set up here for some speed enforcement and see what kind of uh, vehicles we can get all right, we just got a vehicle going 68 miles an hour. Uh, this zone just turned into a 55 zone, so he did not slow down at the zone change. Um, we're going to go ahead and catch up with him and uh, pull him over. It's going to be this red vehicle here. Yep, let's go ahead and line them up. And slam on the brakes. That makes sense. Okay, it looks like he is pulling over. Which, that's good. That's actually a pretty good spot to pull over. Not too bad. 129, I'll be 39. U.S. Route 15 at 13th split. Going to be out with San Andreas 08 Oscar Papa Queen Quebec, excuse me, 215. A traffic violation. Okay. With caution. Vehicle also has expired registration, so we're going to go out and speak with the driver and see what the deal is about that registration. See if it actually is the registered owner. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, Trooper Taylor, San Andreas Ohio Patrol. The reason why I pulled you every day was because of your speed. You're going 68 back there. Can you see your driver's license registration and proof of insurance, please. All right, is the registered owner. And, uh, sir, your vehicle registration is expired. What's that about? Let's go ahead and ask him. Did you know your registration expired? Just give me a warning. I'll renew it right away. All right, sir. Uh, have you been drinking tonight? You took a shot of vodka an hour ago? All right, sir. Just uh, go ahead and do me a favor. Step out of the vehicle real quick. I appreciate you being honest with me about drinking there. Uh, come on and uh, follow me. Let's get off to the side of the road here. 129, I'll have one out for a uh, sobriety test. All right, so what we're going to be doing here is a standardized field sobriety test. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It's going to be uh, just to gauge your, gauge your uh, alcohol level in your system. I appreciate you admitting that you did have something to drink. First test we're going to do is the called the horizontal gaze. Just go ahead and stare at the uh, tip of the pencil, follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Without moving your head. Yep, keep your arms down at your side. Good job. Fantastic. 
He passed it. Okay, the eyes don't lie. Somebody, if you you know somebody's intoxicated by that. All right, sir, if, that you did a fantastic job. Just go ahead and wait right here for me. I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm gonna go check your information. Do not get back into the vehicle, okay? All right, so he did a good job with that. Leads me to believe that he is not drinking. So we're going to go ahead and uh, look at his record. He's got uh, stopped two times before. He had a parking and a loading zone violation. That's all on his record. Valid driver's license. Uh, create citation. We're going to go ahead and uh, document related. Expired registration. We're going to ding him for that for sure. Uh, it was just expired in October, but that's a month ago. So, like, you really need to get that uh, taken care of. Uh, okay, so he was going 68 and a 55. We're going to knock it down for him. Uh, and, uh, yep, pretty much. I mean, we're going to knock it down for him and work with him a little bit. He's been cooperative. We appreciate that, especially with the people we deal with. All right, sir, just to let you know, I am writing you two citations today. Uh, wish I could give you a break on the uh, registration, but that's not the case. Just go ahead and sign here and sign a mission guild saying you're going to take care of the citations or show up in court to fight them. Uh, just so you know, the uh, they can be waived. There is information on the back on how to do so. Uh, I did cut down your speed a little bit. You were going uh, 18 over. Uh, I'm sorry, 12 over the speed limit. I knocked that down. So, uh, yeah. On that note, sir, go ahead and uh, get on out of here. You are free to go. Take care. Yeah, he's not happy about it, but it is what it is. Could have probably gave him his break on the speed altogether, but uh, I decided not to. Uh, so I decided to get him for that as well, so... What, do I ha what did I have him locked at? 68. So technically that was 13 over. So, I mean, I can't really cut him a break per se. Oops. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. And we're going to go ahead and flip engine always on because I forgot to do that. Anyway, we're going to get back on a patrol here and uh, see what else we can get into. Uh, see if we can uh, actually get another uh, speeder. We're actually probably just going to sit right here and uh, see what flies past us. All right, we got a vehicle that uh, passed by us, slow speeds, blown out tire. We're going to go ahead and uh, initiate a traffic stop. It looks like a stand here uh, on this car. They are not okay to drive. It looks like they were in an accident. So this is actually going to be our next stop. What are you doing? Get over here. All right, they're acting weird. Plus with the damage of their vehicle. Typical. Oh. Go ahead and cancel that. Come on. Looks like we got a couple on marks rolling through. Looks like Blaine County Sheriff's Office. All right, now he's figuring it out. Driving dangerously, messed up vehicle. San Andreas 129. I'll be 39 on a vapid Stanier. Uh, gonna be US Route 15 just outside of Ron Alternates. Gonna be San Andreas 83, Mike Juliet, uniform 619. Okay, no flags on the vehicle. Let's go ahead and approach and see what the deal is. All right, so speed is 60 up here.
Good evening, sir. I'm Trooper Taylor, San Andreas Highway Patrol. The reason why I pulled you over today is because of the condition of your vehicle and you see your driver's license registration proof of insurance. All right, so this isn't your vehicle, huh? All righty, let's go ahead and question. Do you know your, uh, window is broken? Uh-huh, why isn't your brake light working? Uh-huh, okay. All right, so this isn't his vehicle. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? It's over six months. Where are you coming from? You're coming from work? Okay. Where are you headed to? Grocery store. All right. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle, sir. This isn't the registered owner, actually. All right, sir. Come on over here. Come on and follow me. Let's get out of traffic. Come on. Over here, bud. There we go. All right, just go ahead and wait right there for me. Sandra's wants you now. I'm going to have one outside the vehicle. All right, sir, I'm just going to go and check your information real quick. He's not the registered owner, so we'll, we're going to find out if he has any warrants, any issues. No, nothing. All right, man, here's the deal. With the vehicle in that condition, uh, that's the reason I pulled you over, because you're missing a tire, you have windows broken, your back uh, brake light is completely out. Um, so I'm going to have to get this vehicle towed, okay? I'm not going to cite you for it, but I am going to have to get it towed for you, all right? You shouldn't be driving a vehicle in this condition. Uh, the vehicle is unsafe for conditions, but how it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut your brake and not cite you for it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get it towed. Um, is it your friend's car? Your friend lets you borrow it to go to work? All right. Well, you're, yeah, you're going to have to explain what's going on and why his car is the way it is. But uh, on that note, sir, uh, so uh, what do you want? Uh, do you want an Uber or a taxi to take you home? Just call you an Uber? All right. I can do that. How are you doing? I'm uh, Trooper Taylor with the uh, San Andreas uh, Highway Patrol. Can I get an Uber out to uh, US Route 1 of my traffic stop to pick up a uh, gentleman, please? Alright, sir. Uber's coming. Should be here shortly. Alright, this looks like it's you. Alright, go ahead and go get on out of here, man. He's clean and clear. I'm not going to sign him for it. He's on his way out of here and home, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and inventory the vehicle for tow. Uh, anything we find in the vehicle can't be uh, used against him because there's no probable cause for it. Can of pep pepper spray, that's not illegal. So nothing in the vehicle. But if we did find something illegal like drugs or whatever, we couldn't actually charge him with it because we had no probable cause to search the vehicle. Um, it's just inventory for the record when it gets here. So we're going to go ahead and call, call the tow truck. Required in, uh, run alternate and I still five. haven't put my Mueller back in. Well, I guess we'll just use the MTL flatbed for now. I have to remember that. And they're going to magically pick it up from here. There it is. All right, so that vehicle is going to get towed, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. One, San Andreas 129. I'll be clear. No citation. Alright, so, yeah. I'm going to work with him on that. I understand he's just trying to get some, do some stuff and get some places, but uh, he can't be driving on the road with a vehicle like that, especially in the left lane. Um, so, yeah. Just helping him out. Get him a ride to where he needs to get to, and uh, go from there. We've got a suspect on the run in Grande Sonora Desert. San Andreas 129 will assist. Units respond code 2. Alright guys, we got a report of a manhunt on, you know, ongoing in the uh, Sandy Shores area. We are close. We're going to go ahead and help out uh, with that and head there currently. 
so see traffic actually gets out of our way. They're doing a pretty good job. Come on. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and assist. White female wearing a brown jacket. Copy that. San Andreas 129, we're in the area. We'll be searching for that female. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find a white female. She's over in the area of the yellow jacket. White female, brown jacket. White female, brown jacket. White female, brown jacket. female brown jacket this is her last reported area so we're gonna go across the street and check the bar and then we're gonna check the business on the other side white female brown jacket white female brown jacket Nothing in this area. All right, let's go across the street and see if we can find her. No idea what she's wanted for. I didn't get that information, or I didn't see that information. She's not in this area. I heard something. Hmm, interesting. White female, brown jacket. This is our designated area to search. Go ahead and look over here. Got nothing. I wonder if she's in the bar. She might be. We didn't actually check in the bar. She might be in the bar. San Andreas 129, we'll be checking inside. Hello, ma'am. Just uh, checking the area. Is that, is that our female? I think this might be our female. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Sanders have patrol, ma'am. Go ahead, stop. 129, I got one taste of the yellow jack. Let me see your hands. Go ahead and give me an additional one here. Grande Sonora Desert. Don't move. We copy you. On standby. 129, I have one at Taser Point. She was in the bar. Trying to hide. Don't move. Don't move. LSPD, stand down! My god, finally! Get on the ground, ma'am. You ready? Get on the ground. Not your lucky day. Bring it in out. Nice and easy. We Bank got you surrounded. Near code four. Suspect in custody. No Great. further units required. Great job. Tara Holtz. Hey there. We got a active warrant. Hey, Sergeant. This is the girl you're looking for? I think this uh, vehicle right here, this uh, one that first showed up with the LSSD guys driving the Blaine County car, I think that's scripted into the call out. So that's probably, uh, that's probably why they showed up and it didn't cooperate with uh, 
the other stuff because that is the default sheriff cruiser and this over here is the car that's supposed to be showing up which I'll show you guys yeah that's the car that's supposed to be showing up not this one anyhow all right she's got a warrant outstanding we're gonna go ahead and check out what that's for Tara Tara relax Okay, go ahead and pat her down, Sergeant. All right, Sergeant's gonna pat you down. I'm gonna watch, make sure he does nothing appropriate. Female officer is not required to pat down a female, as long as you have two pre present. PCP, all right. Go ahead and hang out with them. Looks like Blaine County wanted her for something. We were able to assist. She was hiding out in the yellow jack. Good thing uh, we checked in there. Let's go ahead and check uh, pet records. Tara has a warrant for vandalism. So it's a misdemeanor warrant, and she decides to run. All right, we're going to go ahead and create a... Uh, we're going to go ahead and create the uh, nonviolent crimes. Warrant for arrest. Um, then we're going to go... Have, we're going to give her definitely resisting arrest, and then drug possession... Possession of PCP, and that's what I'm going to get her for. So we're going to arrest her on the warrant and uh, the resisting, and also the PCP that the sergeant was able to find. Hi. All right, Tara. Uh, you are going to be uh, placed under arrest for your warrant for... Uh, Vandalism, which would have been very, very simple if you had just complied with me when we were in the bar, but you decided to run, so you got tased and all that jazz. Um, yeah, so this officer is going to go ahead and take you, and uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. You guys got this? Warrants out of your county. Oh, they're going to give it to them. Okay. Yeah, that's the LSSD. I uh, I appreciate when guys create callouts to have like scripted response. What are you doing here? You're not my partner. Hey. Go ahead and get out of here. What are you? You can't come with me. Shock. You can't come with me. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get back onto the highway and uh, see if we can get uh, one more traffic stop before the night's over. Looking forward to it. It's been good so far. Oh, okay. Well, we just set up for uh, traffic. And uh, we got a vehicle that has red underglow in front of us. You can have any color but red or blue. And uh, that vehicle definitely has red. So we're going to go ahead and try to catch up to it and uh, let them know what's up. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, kick on our lights here. Clear people out of the way. Yep, it's you, bud. Oh. Blaine County detectives on the freeway. San Andreas 129, I'll be 39 on a black... Moonbeam, it's going to be 07 Sierra Hotel Uniform 186. Target vehicle license plate 07 nope. Sam Henry nope. Union 186. A traffic felony. Approach nope. with caution. Gotcha. No Mick Carson, if that is the RO that's driving, has a warrant. So what we're going to do is we're going to call out the state back out. In Santiansky Mountain Range. Yeah, we're going to request another state unit to come out and back us up. Roger that. We're in the area. 
All right, so Charlie 4 is uh, in the area, and they're going to come uh, back us up. And I don't know why that detective is just sitting there. That's the second time that's happened. There's Charlie 4. Driving to Buffalo. Nice. Let's do it. Might get a suspended license out of an underglow violation. I got your six. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, Trooper Taylor, San Andreas High Patrol. The reason why I pulled you over is because you're underglow on your vehicle. Well, let's go ahead and let him know that. We're smelling uh, alcohol and uh, narcotics from the vehicle, so uh, let's go ahead and uh... sorry, you didn't know about that? No, no big deal. Uh, sir, have you been drinking today? Yeah, a sip of wine. Okay. Have you used any drugs recently? I, I'm not saying that you are a drug addict, sir. I'm just asking a question. Alright, and you sir, driver's license, your registration, your proof of insurance, please. No, I'm at Carson. That's going to be our guy. We're going to request a check on him while we're standing here. Just to make sure. Yep, he is our suspended driver. Alright, sir. Go ahead and uh, step out of the vehicle for me. What in the French toast is going on back there? Just ignore that. Alright, Noah. Oh, dear lord. Wow, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, sir, go ahead. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it just never fails. You just can't have a normal patrol, can you? Oh, dear Lord. All right, we're going to try to ignore that. Pretend it doesn't exist. That's funny as all heck, though. Oh, it's gonna keep going too. Yep. <laughs> all right, no, you got anything illegal on you? It's gonna poke me, stick me, piss me off in any way. <laughs> uh, pepper spray and pipe with town powder residue. Okay. All right, uh, thought you, didn't, thought you didn't use drugs. Okay, sir, go ahead, turn around for me. We're going to do a breathalyzer test. We're going to measure your blood alcohol content. Point one. <laughs> so he's just over the legal limit to drive. Okay. And we're also going to do a drug swab test. Because did find drug paraphernalia, so what makes you think he's not on something anyway? Negative. All right. All right. Trooper, you want to watch him? I'm going to go test this. All righty. We're going to go back here. We're going to test this. We're also going to search the vehicle. He's going to be arrested for the... Uh, for the... Uh... Oh, my God. I can't think because of that big cluster behind me. He's going to get arrested for the suspended license for sure. And, uh, yeah. Mm hmm Why can't I test it? Field narcotics test. There we go. Tan powder. I'm going to go heroin. Possibly. Negative on that. Fentanyl? Tan powder's normally uh, heroin or fentanyl. What about PCP? No. Maybe it's a meth pipe. Maybe I'm overthinking this. It's just tan. Nope. Cocaine. In no way is it a marijuana pipe. 
It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Okay, it's tested for nothing. It's just burn off residue that's not testing for anything. That's fine. Let's see if I can find a culprit inside the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and search his vehicle based on what we found on him and him being arrested. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and search the vehicle. That is now allowed. Baggy of shrooms. Psychedelics. Hmm, okay, all right. All right, sir, just to let you know what you're being arrested for today. You're going to be uh, arrested for the uh, driving under the influence, driving on a suspended license, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of uh, illegal narcotics, which was the shrooms that I found inside your vehicle, also the possession of drug paraphernalia. Any questions for me? Nope? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, knock out an arrest report on this gentleman real quick, and then we'll go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and uh, get done with this stuff. Yep, he's going to be getting a uh, traffic. Driving while license suspended. Driving under the influence. He's going to be getting drug possession. Uh, he's going to be getting possession of... Shrooms. They don't have it here. Interesting. Interesting. Technically, technically, we're just going to call it marijuana. I know that's not entirely correct, but we're just going to call it that. Um, anything else? Under the influence? Nope, that's it. Alright, Mr. Noah Carson's going to be getting arrested for that. All right, let's go ahead and call out a tow truck. Gonna go ahead and also call out a transport truck. Assistance car. required Hello. in uh, Santiago Mountain Range. Flatbed. Assistance required in Santiago Mountain Thank you, range. Trooper. Appreciate it. And we got our tow truck pushing through the wreckage behind us that we just ignored and he's going to take him oh my gosh oh my gosh jeez all right everybody well that's going to do it for today's episode on lspdfr i hope you guys did enjoy it i hope you guys did like the uh classy merit here we got light snow now never know it could be covered in snow next time we patrol maybe not you guys let me know in the comments section below do you want to see full-on snow or just kind of like snow blizzards with no actual snow sticking i'll let you guys decide it's not going to stick around for long probably till the end of december you know how that goes on that note everybody thank you very much for watching take care and have a wonderful wonderful evening